Okay, well, uh, this is going to be a short tutorial on basic mesh movement. And so, we'll start out from the very beginning here. Um, if you're running Windows XP or earlier, uh, you just you go find where your um, uh, Unreal Editor is and you just click on that. If you're running Windows Vista, you should run it as an administrator. Um, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, but they're not really that important. It's just important that you know run it as administrator. So it'll take uh, a little while to start up. Uh, depending on your computer speed, it might be a few minutes or it could just be you know a few seconds. And also it depends on how frequently you open it up and things like that. So it starts up, gives you the tip of the day, click OK. And then the generic browser should be open to begin with. It might be um, it might be smaller for you when you first start out. Um, but it, it'll be there and you don't really need it right now. So for now, just exit out of it. All right. Now, to navigate the viewport here, you right click to just look around. OK? Now, if you left click and drag, it moves the camera around. So right now, you can't really see much. But you can kind of see around this red builder brush is what it's called. And um, so you can just kind of see how you're moving the camera. If you press them both at the same time, both right right and left mouse click, you pan the camera around. Okay? So that's just how those are just the basic camera movements. You can also scroll the wheel in and out, and that'll just move the camera forward and backward, and that's it. Okay, so we're gonna start out here. Right click on this little cube here, and that'll bring up the builder brush cube properties. So let's go ahead and make this 1024. And you can press the up and down arrow keys to um, to switch between the, the categories here. Do not press tab, otherwise it'll take you down to build here. So, I mean, you can do that when you want to go to build, but that's not what we want to do right now. So just 1024 all the way around. And then leave the wall thickness at um, 16, but I want you to check hollow. And what that'll do is it'll make the cube by these dimensions, and then it'll have a 16 inch um, wall thickness, but then the inside will be hollow, so we can go inside there. So when you click build, you can see your cube will be created out here. And then, um, but nothing actually happens. You still don't have any geometry here. So we click close on that. Um, or alternatively, you could have pressed, uh, of course, the exit button. But then to actually get anything, you need to click this um, CSG add button. And that will add a simple, well, this, this will fill in the cube that we just specified right on top of your red builder brush. So then you can see you have other viewports here. Uh, these are just the different sides to look at. Um, so I honestly couldn't tell you just off the top of my head which one's which. Um, it'll be a lot easier to see, though, once we actually get going. But So let's go inside of this for a minute, then. and. If you want, you can move the Builder Brush out of the way. Uh, you click the red brush, and then you just drag it with these little arrows here. Um, it's up to you how you really want to do it, but that's um, you can also, of course, leave it there if you want to. For me, it kind of gets in the way after it's been there for a while, though, so I like to just get rid of it. Um, now, you've there's no way to actually like literally get rid of it, but just move it aside so you, it's not going to be in your way the whole time. All right, so now we have this big square here. And I'm not going to go into how to texture it or anything like that right now. Uh, this isn't the tutorial for that. Um, so maybe sometime, but not right now. So what we do want to do, though, is go click on our generic browser button. Now, you remember, I told you to exit out of this at the beginning. Now you want to go back into it, though, and you can maximize it or whatever you want. Now, let's go down, and let's find something that's already in here if we can. Um, let's see. I don't really know uh, for sure which one I'm going to pick. So, let's say HU Deco here. And, well, let's see here first. Okay. Yeah, let's pick this um, barrier here. Okay. Actually, no, let's not do that. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm going to go find something. So, if you ever wondered where to find all your stuff here um, that, that actually comes with the game, here's how you get there. Um, you can do this any number of ways. I'm, I'm hoping that some of you at least know uh, how to how to move around on the computer here. But uh, if you go to my computer, 
And it's taking a second here for me. There we go. Uh, go to go to whatever drive you installed on. Then on Vista, you go to Program Files times 86. Then you come down and you find Unreal Tournament. And then, okay, you want to go to Cooked PC. Okay, well first I guess go to UT Game, then Cooked PC, and then we're looking for Environments. And then here's all the packages. Now. I've been told before to never load all of them at once. In all honesty, though, my computer's good enough. I can do it without a problem. Some of you probably will have problems, though. So just load them one at a time, probably, for the most part. So let's just pick ASC Floor. I don't know what's in there, but let's just pick it. OK. Now, here's all the files that were inside of there, basically. So you can see there's a lot of textures and things like that. Um, in this case, up towards the top, there's some meshes. So let's just pick this stair mesh here. Now, okay, well, I, I forgot to say, you just click on it once, then go ahead and exit out of the generic browser here. Now, click on your floor someplace, then if you right click and go to Add Actor, you can add the static mesh, right? Now, that's how you, how you do it if you just want to add it, and then that's it, right? So, that's not what we, what we want. It would be completely stationary there, you're not allowed to move it at all. So. I'm going to delete that back out of there. Now, if you want it to be able to move, you need to add it as an interp actor. And that makes it so that it can actually move from within matinee. So, now you can see now this is the top view, this looks like the front view, and this is the side view. So, in, in this case, at least for the stairs, I'm, it might actually be a different view, but you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and move it into the corner here, just so it's kind of out of the way. I don't want it to intersect, not that it really matters, but I just don't want it to. And I forgot to mention this, but uh, your drag grid might be on or off. It doesn't really matter for this tutorial right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it off. But when you're building things, you should probably leave it on. So, okay. 